So, viewers, welcome to the uh, next yet another session of uh, Topos interview. This time we have uh, AML uh, rank, AML rank three and CML rank four. Dr. Mohammad Wasik. Uh, welcome, Mohammad Wasik, and uh, I'm so happy to introduce you. And uh, can you just introduce yourself? Thank you, thank you so much, sir. Uh, I my name is Dr. Mohammad Wasik. I did my MBBS from Kim's College, Bangalore, and then I did my MD in internal medicine from Bangalore Medical College, sir. BMC Bangalore, yeah. Yes. Sir. Yeah, so. Uh, what do you feel now? Like uh, you, you pass your MD in which year? Sir, I finished my MD in 2022 uh, uh, May session. After oh, that, yeah, yeah. Uh, I actually I'm with Marrow. Like you know, reading Meet uh, SS particularly the uh, that uh, you have been uh, I've been using from I think second year of my MD, sir. In, in the oh. end of my second year, I took uh, my uh, Meet SS uh, subscription, and it was very helpful for my uh, MD exams also. I I was able to watch not much of the videos, but important uh, theory questions from Maro itself, and also read the textbook alongside with it. All these specialities from neurology, cardiology, and GIT, everything. Then after that, after finishing with my uh, MD exams, I took a couple of months break, sir. I was actually confused uh, with the uncertainty of neat access pat SS pattern, and I thought INI is a better uh, clarity and you know approach since it gives me a proper idea okay this is subject you just read the subject and uh, there's no much uh, you know confusion with like a neat ss pattern and uh, for me neurology was the one subject from day one i i can i can tell you from mbbs or before mbbs the one thing that made me take uh, become a doctor was neurology if someone yeah. asked me before MB, mbbs what what are you supposed to do it would be like i want to become neurologist not i want to become doctor so that was like i was mad for neurology so there was no second choice. Even if, if with practical reasons at the end of my final year, I saw, okay, this is the pro. They were saying like, you know, this is like getting saturated in Bangalore. These are the subjects that you should go forward. I, I was like, my passion is neurology. Whatever may be the saturation or, you know, difficulties, whatever in Bangalore, because I want to stay in Bangalore. So I thought, I don't hear all that. I'll focus on neurology. And uh, INI was a better approach for me, better option to get into. My dream was to get into Central Institute. So I did not prepare for NEAT-SS. I started preparing for neurology properly. Your videos actually gave me so much help, sir, actually. It covered Thank so you. much of topics. Like, I can't tell how many, like, you know, the depth of your videos. Like, it looks small, but so much knowledge and important points you cover in one hour, one and a half, or one chapter in that video, sir. So in the, after finishing my MD, I took, a, my, uh, I think, two to three months break. Then I properly started reading for INISS, thinking as a target for INI in November. But uh, I, I finished uh, covering uh, a, a good amount of topics for INI in November. But uh, this exam was not my full-fledged exam that I was giving in November. So I just wanted to feel the experience and what to expect in actual exam, how the, does the paper will be. So I just gave it. And actually, giving that exam gave me a proper idea like what to expect. After the exam, I came back and I saw several questions which like picked up from Bradley. My lagging point of November session was not reading Bradley. I opened the textbook, like muscular disorders. There's a picture picking up from muscular disorders for the question yeah. in the INS session. I was like, this is like, if I just open and see the pages, it'll help. So I saw where I was lagging. And uh, so after November session, I opened Bradley and I had done with your notes. I'm reading my Bradley, I'm looking at the notes. You have gone in depth with the notes. Like there's nothing missing in Bradley, actually. So I'm reading Bradley. Okay, this is there in notes. And the order of your notes and points, like I can tell, okay, you're going in the order of the chapters that give it, like, you know, the, the chapter dealing in paragraphs. Like you deal in the same, okay, the chapter is having this paragraph in this order. You also went, so this, like, I, my, I could finish Bradley, like, faster than I could imagine. I thought this, everyone scared me. Okay, Bradley, you can't finish. You know, it's very difficult. With your notes, sir, after the November session, I just flipped through Bradley, like, it was so helpful. And uh, even some topics from your notes, like I still remember, I, I like difficult topics like SCAR, how to remember the uh, pure cerebellar ataxias, how to remember autosomal dominant, autosomal recessive. I can't express how much like your notes actually helped me. Your, your, your presentation to remember things, your muscular disorders, uh, like distal muscular uh, weakness, how to remember for Willander, well, upper limb, all the small, small points are actually in exam. It matters a lot. It's 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 a lot to like point like remember. 
but those small words that you yourself will make up your own words in your lectures that will actually help a lot actually uh, i actually followed bradley for my dm exam and i was in love with that book and uh, i uh, it was just like when i was doing my md i followed harrison i followed bradley plus some continuum and new articles and journals but basic stuff of my reading was also bradley so i felt when i go to the book it was difficult for me initially so i want it to be more palatable and concise with maximum con- concept rather than giving some factual knowledge because that was my idea because factual knowledge is easy to okay capsule things easy to remember but easy to forget the the, the concept only will be remaining and whatever i told like those small things like velandra and all these things i used to learn myself because it was difficult for me so i am not a very fast brainy person i am a person who needs to know the concept then go to the things otherwise i won't understand things i am not a person who is having photographic memory so i used to remember things in this way my brain is tuned like that so i just put those things which how i learned i just put the same way i put in the videos that might have helped i think and anyway, i'm very happy to hear it was this. very helpful sir like i can tell with 110% surety like uh, there is i'm not lying your notes were so beautiful uh, your your presentation of every chapter like, uh, it might look sir, like someone now who is studying preparation will look at the number of videos in the app saying there is so much actually there is so much in the content of neurology there is no other shortcut like the num- like there be like there's so many videos how to finish there's no other sh- like way but those all videos are important and every point is important from your notes sir yeah actually this was the same thing many one even including the matter faculty asked me neurology video is the biggest videos the thing is neurology is a vast subject there is actually whatever i had taken is just maybe up to 50% or 60% of whatever neurology uh, is there in the bradley till questions are coming outside these topics because neurology is like that and nobody there is no no easy way to learn neurology and uh, and what i felt was even i was uh, going to the videos once again after recording and after publishing i will watch the videos once again and uh, what i realized was that first time watch it may looks difficult but once you tuned in the platform it will be easy uh, actually that this much is needed for neurology that's needed you know, so like be... that is like the content that you are scripts it's it looks big but it's must uh, you have we have to go through that content of neurology and uh, as you told that the like, your prime uh, mode of uh, preparation for neurology was from the marrow only yes, yes prime mode 100% so, like from you, my md prof exam like, yeah this is what I, I, I also feel like like uh, when you go through marrow videos or through bradley uh, bradley the problem with bradley is it is so difficult to understand otherwise second thing is it is very hard pass early given yes sir yes sir i noticed that i wouldn't have uh, understood bradley well if i wouldn't have used your notes beforehand i would have been very happy that badly some book one book which is very 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 unfriendly book when you open it it is not that colorful it is not that bright book the letters are become very small and close together there is no relation between certain paragraphs the link will be given somewhere else so i also find those difficulties but i wanted to correct those difficulties and link all those things together and put it concise and give it as a, a conceptual thing i think that worked uh, till now i am getting like the reviews are like that because uh, initially when you everyone think that so much videos is there but once you go through it you will i feel like if you love neurology definitely you should enjoy you, you will enjoy it yes sir and and uh, what the, you there are lot of videos so how was your plan so initially you were watching marrow videos and for this ina how was your plan you, you how did you uh, revise all those things so one thing i noticed in my uh, preparation that was lacking in my normal session was general medicine questions i thought like because it's ina question majority be neurology specialty subject question and the non specialty subject is like superficial like obviously we'll be having a good amount of knowledge and that will suffice but i noticed that they are going in depth sir. they are going into specialty indi- individual specialty knowledge so i made sure to have a you know good like at least uh, not as much of my main spe- subject specialty knowledge i should focus on other subject also so that made me also to watch a couple of videos from uh, cardiology uh, and git hepatology and the, I, i actually watched a lot of videos from neat ss as well as general medicine uh, from rakesh nair's videos also so I, it was a mixture of i felt like okay this topic is important uh, so maybe this is a clinching topic this might they might ask a twisted question from this is a neat ss level topic so i'll focus that on neat ss videos 
and sometimes when it's like you know not needed i would go back to gentle medicine rakesh nayan videos that is also very good in like you can you can finish a lot of topics from gentle medicine using using gentle medicine videos are right? so and what i felt is like when you when the marrow is providing all the super specialties and medicine together at a single portal the advantage is like there will be some topics you will be confused even medicine hair is not medicine lectures may not be enough for the your solving your confusion you can go to the individual session and watch the specialist video also any any yes. subject yes. so that actually gives a, a give you an ad, advanced edge rather than going just neuro plus medicine you have if you have some doubt in cardio because that can be asked in the medicine part there's some doubt in gastro you can go to those topics specifically and read from that topic even in that uh, they are given the timeline is there so you can go to the time where is it discuss you can take it and watch that and clear your doubts that is actually a good thing about giving things together rather than giving as a separate separate entities and uh, uh, like last time you wrote ini and this time you wrote ini both ini the question patterns also you, you if you if you see the patterns the first last ini pattern is better tougher than this time yes this time is yes. little bit easier but yes. next time you cannot expect what is going to happen so that, that even though the subject is similar i was telling in the last interview also subject is similar the core is similar the important topics are similar they can vary the extent of questions varies so nobody can go through a capsular thing and uh, uh, especially for neurology nobody can go through a capsular thing and think that okay this much point in this session if you study you will get 10 marks you cannot expect that in neurology and especially in ina you have to have some idea about the subject like you are telling like you were in love with neurology that passion should be there to uh, to get an ina because then only uh, you, any pattern of question comes you can answer at least majority of the things and actually i am very nice to hear the way you are telling very frankly without even asking you are spontaneously telling all those things so uh so among the marrow we have marrow videos about uh, individual subject neuro cardio and all then we have done even the same faculty has done a session on the mcqs then we have a q bank then we have a test series and last we did a stage two. we'll come to stage two later so about the uh, marrow videos medicine cardio and you had told that medicine cardio gastro and uh, uh, neuro you had seen which all videos in each subject which all which all modules in these subjects did you, did you like the most any suggestions so, also like all these videos of neurology are top notch are best sir. like i can say like which like something like stroke like you have covered so beautifully so like you know i had no doubts i know stroke is like i knew stroke is a must as a neurologic uh, aspirant and your concept your protocols how to you know handle all the twisted questions if the patient presents with this as and what to do next you have covered beautifully and endovascular therapy uh, thrombolysis guidelines even in the mcq sections any 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 trials that you have to remember all that you covered sir your sessions on muscular muscle disorder like beautiful sir uh, on on um um ataxia sir ataxia actually bradley I, i i was actually confused after reading bradley for ataxia sir it's not properly mentioned but reading okay. your uh, uh, particular ataxia sir ataxia chapter but your videos clarity after for ataxia so like like this not sir there's no confusion with it all the videos actually from neurology i i i like I, I, like it's so good and also the recently released videos actually i was Uh, i was uh, like i wanted to know if they were releasing the videos for cranial nerves and luckily about two months before the exam those those videos also came that was also so helpful for understanding uh, the brain stem etiologies and uh, pathologies sir yeah, and what about other sessions like um, other, other other medicine and all you just followed entire marrow you followed uh, uh, harrison also along with that so harrison i had to read so i wanted i didn't want yeah, to okay. leave any stone unturned sir every time when i watch a video i go back to the specialty book if i'm reading neurology i'm reading i'm going back to uh, bradley and for general medicine after watching the specialty or say say for example cvs i'm going back to harrison and seeing if i'm missing like is it like, like i was just wanted to have a satisfaction of reading harrison so because it's about gaining confidence so we have if we have 100% confidence and even that will help us a lot so psychologically in the exam so okay i prepared i did my best whatever may come we'll see like that was my goal in this exam i didn't want it to leave any stone and turn i nishant sir's videos are brilliant for cardiology like he is so good like like, like the concepts for uh, uh, like he's giving in his notes so good sir tarun sir's uh, hepatology best sir and rakesh nair for everything sir like there is no doubt like his videos are like the best 
and uh, uh, like i keep on look i mean seeing it people used to tell after the exam that this question was there from harrison this is from there harrison this is from harrison actually harrison has everything because harrison is a uh, like it's almost like a notes written from other specialty book but it will be there in harrison but it is difficult to understand it and difficult to remember it what yes. you, you get help from these videos or from other specialty videos is you understand the concept better if there is some twisted question comes also you can answer it and some of the areas which are not at all dealt in md level like especially you will get eegs you are getting ncs questions now very frequently ncs questions eeg questions actually many questions are at the dm level if i, I am working in a medical college here and i my I had discussed with my consultant also like he also was like wonder do these questions are getting asked in ini I, I, i personally don't know the answer because these are actually many of the questions are actually dm level questions that keep on coming at least 10 15 20 questions are coming at dm level so you need to have that understanding and that is what i suggest all the viewers out there you need to have your understanding and but never leave your textbooks and if you are studying at least at a harrison if you are studying the videos you go back to the harrison and just review it you will understand it much better and you will able to remember things you will you will understand i'm i'm i'll guarantee you that if you go back to harrison after watching the videos the same topic if you, if you read the harrison at least 50% or 100 70% extra things you will understand and then you will remember like okay these things are already there so that sort of learning is what we are expecting rather than giving a capsule from harrison telling that this is in harrison that is in harrison that is that is there in the harrison that is what textbooks are made for it has to be there and uh, what about the q banks and the series yeah. was this uh, actually new introduced Yes, sir. Um, it was very helpful. So I could, I those two banks that question that you provide are uh, not too many to you know uh, take a lot of time. And the question that uh, you have a uh, like good enough, very good for me to uh, assess myself where I lack. And they are not at the level like uh, very easy and not very medium. They are very hard to medium level, sir. So it actually gives a proper idea. Okay, I am expecting this and uh, uh, and anything that. if at all like i skipped in your in the in the notes i'll get through the mcq sir like you will cover it up in the mcq sessions and uh, in, through through an mcq and the and the explanation below it i'll get so many extra points so i never i made a like you know a habit to solve as many mcq as possible from not just neurology but also specialties other specialties also sir and uh, and, and uh, we coming to stage 2 and uh, how was your stage 2 plan and preparation and how did our stage to preparation when we did a discussion now how did it help you that i have i have arranged some questions from previous year and based on that i had created some new questions also and possible areas with the visual images i try to put some frame some questions and we almost like it somewhat like a mock interview we cannot do a mock interview for each candidate separately so how did it help you and what was your plan before and after that yes so what happened after the theory exam we i i personally went to a relax mode sir i thought okay it, it actually feel psychologically that exam is over but exam is not over and then when you organize that mock session i now seeing maybe like i thought okay theory i've read i've done my preparation so that will be enough why to read again and then I'm, you gave our example like previous questions and how they how the, like they would ask the possibilities of the question and then again okay i i got realization okay this is not ended here there's so much more to read this is like again will uh, take you front or back this is a deciding factor so your session was very important and uh, and was like a trigger again to start preparing for interview session you gave like proper idea like from previous a question you gave a scenario okay this is this they are expecting so it's actually uh, interview session is more of uh, like to understand uh, like approaches so they ask a disease and they'll be like what's next approach so it's not like you need to read all all the topics certain topics which you mentioned were covered and that is needed that's also yeah actually the stage to the aim of stage to is they just want to see the aptitude of the student how is that rather than solving an mcq whether it's a how is approach to a clinical scenario that is what basically they want to know whether he is eligible for that that is the thing they they just want they, they also know that any mcq session there's a part of luck is there they just want to clarify that okay this student is uh, Uh, fit for uh, like uh, uh, aims institute he has a aptitude for that that is only thing i feel they want to assess and next year also i want to uh, collect questions from all of you and i will uh, next year when i do i'll add these new questions and create something extra from my side so the same question they are not going to ask because it is a very random things so as an examiner whatever things comes to your mind that will be almost like your practical variable and uh, 
uh, uh, and uh, how do you what is your suggestions to your like uh, before that i'll ask you but why why neurology you were telling like from beginning uh, you were having this like towards neurology and i knew that uh, in uh, bmc even in mmc and bmc uh, majority of the teachers in karnataka especially they are more inclination towards neurology and they teach neurology so so better way than many other places so i also had inclination to neurology just because my teachers were uh, good in neurology so what was your i mean that before you it happened before md so uh, what was your uh, what what is the reason any specific reason was there no specific reason sir normal the normal posting that we had in mbbs also helped me like it was not bias inclination towards neurology like okay we are exposing towards i see this you know reason people saying because we have neurology as an important subject in mbbs as well as MBA. so people get start liking it it's not like that i actually rationalized and removed my possible okay how am i as a cardiologist how am i as an endocrinologist what is suits me better and what i like better so i also rationalized and came to neurology and it's my you know my dream branch like without any rationality if you say what to choose it's my neurology like there's there's no, nothing like specific reason sir so uh, us a candidate has gone through both the phases like during preparation during the time of md and post md preparation both you are done so what is your suggestion for those students who are going through md right now and the second group of students who is past md preparing for next year's exam sir actually uh, uh, preparing if 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 one starts preparing during uh, second year of their md uh, it's there is a good chance uh, to crack neat ss as well as i9 uh, like it's not impossible sir i myself would i actually did not spend that much time reading so i did not I, my target was uh, actually iss so i started reading late but someone who starts reading for neat ss which happens simultaneously uh, at the end of the uh, uh, prof exam of md so there's a good chance they might they'll crack in the same session sir so there's the old saying like you know you need a lot lot many years to crack uh, as a specialty like you need 2 yeah. years 3 years you need to go through a lot of books and you need to go through all online resources become a master becoming before entering the course no so we can actually do it in the in the end of the md exam so there is there is a very good chance sir. and those who are preparing after md you have any suggestions because you had gone through both the phases yes. and preparing after md you need to be patient sir because you will have a lot of other things to look after you have to look after the work and uh, whether you have bond no bond whether you want to work or go into isolation so one thing is patience patience is a must uh, you will have days where you'll have no idea what to do what am i doing with my life why am i studying when others are working sometimes and you'll have days where like uh, you've been reading 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 and then nothing is showing any like road so post md is a difficult phase there'll be a dark, like you know because you are you have to go like a neat pg preparation same go back to your room stay in your room for morning till night read 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 uh, and like just read so that's a difficult but you need to be patient you need to not lose hope and just uh, uh, look forward for that day where you know you get to your, towards that dream so actually uh, i feel very happy to be like somebody who is uh, dreaming to get a, a neurology seat in that one central institute we as marrow people we were able to be with you and help you from right from your second year with whatever possible support we could give you your your as your prime preparatory module was from the marrow uh, and till uh, you get an inss that with an awesome rank and uh, we are really happy for you and any any particular area uh, of interest is there in neurology for you because you are uh, going to be um, no sir at this sub specialty i wouldn't still select anything so for me neurology yeah. was a destination and thankfully uh, i'm closer to it now Uh, there's a lot more to learn a lot more to experience sir. so i'll leave it up to time sir yeah when you when you go to aims you get exposed with all the sub specialities at the end of uh, by second year maybe you will be a second year house and you will understand that which specialty you want so and i only what about your family who are there in the family i have to thank my parents they have been my pillar of support from uh from the time i wanted to uh, enter mbbs from the time i wanted to become a doctor till the day that pre till till few days back when i got my neat ss results uh, ini ss results they have been my pillar of support my brothers and sisters my special uh, person dr khatija selva she has been uh, constantly supporting me motivating me keeping me focused not making me lose hope she's been my strength throughout the last one year i can't thank her enough and all my friends 
thank you very nice to talk with you and keep in touch and uh, you can i will give you my number you can contact yes, me sir. yeah keep in touch we'll see you in uh, some cme somewhere in delhi or somewhere we'll, we'll meet in person thank you sir thank you so much for uh, spending time with us thank you so much thank you sir